Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, you know don't you, you know. Right, something I forgot to do this morning, so I've had to come here in the middle of the night to do it. I forgot to give Steve, Bun Steve Bunce's uh, boxing barbecue I mentioned, it's at the Sports Bar and Grill tomorrow night, the 28th of August, Friday, and it's in High Green, Staffordshire. Now, a lot of you Porky followers, you're not going to be able to make it because it's a short notice, isn't it? And I've only just found out about it myself. But people in the Staffordshire area will follow my channel. Get you sent down, it'll be a good night. There's a few famous boxers there. Uh, they'll have a raffle and stuff like that. And it's only seven, seven quid, seven pound fifty to get in. So, all right. So have a good evening. Get down there and back my pal up, Steve Bunce. He's a good bloke. All right. He's been around boxing scene years. For those of you who uh, who don't know Steve Bunce or don't know how long he's been around back in the day I'll tell you a little story back in the day Steve Bunce he, I'm not going to say he would like me but he was a bit of a renegade and he used to tell it straight and he was going up against the cartel back in the day Mickey Duff and them kind of guys and they had a bit of a fallout and Mickey Duff banned Buncey for two years, old Big Daddy Buncey, banning him for two years. Could you imagine Dennis Hobson or Frank Warren or any big cheesers around today, Eddie Earn, banning him for two years from shows and that, and he had to pay his own way for two years to go to, to, go to uh, press conferences and shows and stuff like that. How's about that, eh? So, good bloke Buncey, get behind him. He's boxing through and through and he's doing his own thing in it so good luck to him so get you sent down there get a burger and get a pint and go have a chat with Buncey sports bar and grill high greens Cannock Staffordshire all right peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing don't have nightmares